People take more photos today than at any other time in human history. Facebook alone handles over 250 million photo uploads each day, over 6 billion photo uploads per month. That's a lot of kittens. And while we're fortunate in this wonderful digital era that we no longer have to worry about physically storing all of our photos in empty shoeboxes, you still need to be choosy about where you're uploading your precious memories. I'm Donald Bell, and in this top five, I'll be counting down the five best sites for storing and organizing your digital photos, selected by CNET's Sharon Vaknin. Starting off at number five, Shutterfly. Here's a name that's been around since 1999. Completely free, unlimited storage, and they have apps for iOS and Roku, and you can even order prints for pickup at Walgreens and Target. So what's the catch? Well, Shutterfly makes their real money by selling your photos back to you. When you've got a winner you want to print out, you go through them. You can't even re-download your photos at full resolution. Instead, you have to pay to have an archive CD sent to you. Still, it's a great option for parents and grandparents who tend to print and share a lot of photos anyway, but the limitations still put this on the bottom of our list. For something a little less rigid, try number four, Photo Bucket. Now, as a rule, I generally don't trust businesses named after buckets, but I guess it's better than picture trough or maybe image feed bag. For better or worse, this is a site that's become the preferred dumping ground for every photo and meme and animated GIF on the web. There are nearly 10 billion images hosted on Photo Bucket, and their free account makes it easy to get started. Great social integration with sites like Facebook, and there are paid accounts for people who want to store large collections. The bad news is that there are file size limits, even for paid accounts, so really not a place for the pros. Also, if animated GIFs and cutesy photo fluff drive you a little nuts, this is not the place for you. For the more discerning photographer, there's number three, Smug Mug. The youngest of all the sites on this list, Smug Mug is a paid only service that starts at $5 a month. And for the money, you get zero ads, unlimited photo uploads, and portfolio quality photo galleries. Needless to say, it's a big one with the professional photographers out there, partly because it does a great job presenting your photos, but also because it allows you to re-download your original images with no hassle. My only problem with Smug Mug is that it's still a relatively young service. It's not yet in the too big to fail zone. Maybe I'm too pessimistic, but if my photo service goes broke or gets bought up and put on the shelf, I want to know that there's an army of users out there like me who are ready to raise hell. As great as Smug Mug is, it would die a relatively quiet death. So how about number two, Picasa. Seems fitting that a company like Google obsessed with organizing the world's information would also be great at organizing your photos. It's a free service, though you can pay a small amount for extra storage. It works with a huge variety of image formats, including RAW, and there's a desktop app that works on Mac and PC. It's not all roses, though. First, there's the awkward transition of Picasso web albums to Google Plus photo albums as Google slowly lumps all of their services under the Google Plus umbrella. Then there's the issue of privacy. I know I'm a little paranoid, but Google already knows every email I send and every web search I make. Do I really want them having all of my photos too? With all the geotagged location data and everything? It's a bit too far for me, but at least I know they'll look after my photos as they mine them for information that they can use to sell me things. I suspect I have Canadian pharmacy written all over me. So that brings us to the number one recommended site for storing your photos. Flickr. Free, but with plenty of features, way too big to fail without riots in the street, and it's owned by Yahoo, a humble tech company with something to prove. Unlike Google, Yahoo is more than happy to let you share your photo uploads on Facebook or Twitter or WordPress. Heck, they're just happy to have you around. Flickr is to Yahoo what Xbox is to Microsoft. It's like the only successfully cool product they've ever pulled off, and they're not going to risk screwing it up. You get excellent privacy controls, a huge community that's been growing since 2004, and a free account that entitles you to a terabyte of space. Now you can upload short videos, you can re-download your original photos, and the mobile app is actually pretty great. So there you go, five sites for backing up and organizing your digital photos. For a more in-depth comparison, check out Sharon Vaknin's Roundup over on CNET How To, and for more top five videos like this, top5.cnet.com. I'm Donald Bell, thanks for watching.